your horsey people and we're back with breeding 10 new foals part two if you haven't seen the first part guys i'll leave it in the description below yes we bred our first seven foals in part one and now we've got three more to meet this is super exciting as you can see guys i'm on my main account which is my level 20 I completed the game, the story mode, and that's why I'm here now. And we have a lot of money. So, hence why I got some breeding done. So, I'm just going to go to the income thingy bop and take home my half a million pounds gold. Well, it's not pounds, it's gold. So, guys, are you ready to meet some foals? Yes, I think we are. I think we are. So, guys, as I spoke about in the last channel, like this uh, Lady Ranger gamer channel has grown so much and i cannot believe it it's such like a dream come true i never thought playing games and and doing the things that i love would be this popular and the support from you guys has actually been insane like i cannot get over how awesome you are and how nice you all are as well like that's that's the main thing like i cannot believe that so guys let's go to our first foal and what a better horse to start with let's go aria there isn't a better horse to start with. Oh, I really like that actually. Oh, she's so. Oh, everything's coming up. Let's have a look. She's so cute. Level 10 as well, that's good. I like that little, like, um, sort of hook face. Um, we're going to do a whole session of you guys naming our horses. We're going to do subs name rival stars foals because. Oh, she's like a mousy. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos, um, I've actually bred that colour a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, do you know what? If she needs to go, she needs to go. So, um, let's save Cupid till last, because Cupid actually is uh, one of the ones we bred. And she's got a cool family tree. <gasps> it's happened! It's happened! It's finally happened! Oh! Okay, guys, I'm so happy. So, you guys know that forever and ever and ever i've been like i want to breed my dream uh appaloosa blanket horse if she was black that would absolutely be perfect but do you know what i've got my first one is because oh. obviously fussy foghorn who still needs a name guys uh some of you guys have suggested recall really cool names so we're going to name all of our horses soon so oh i'm so happy with that hat alligator needs a new name monkey's muscle can go i'm sorry but we have our first Appaloosa. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Comment below. Give me some names quick because I don't know what to call her. She is staying forever. She's a level 10. The mate, the, blah, 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 at the moment, her name is Trapeze something. Do you know? Uh, but we're going to call her something else. What does she look like? What does she look like? <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't like her face marking too much, but that's okay. We'll breed her. Because that's the obvious thing to do. <laughs> we'll see if we can get some more. Okay, that's weird. I sold this mousy one. Ah, there's been a bit of a glitch. Let's go to Cupid. I, if it doesn't turn up, the game might be glitching. No, nope, they're not there. They're not there. It's a ghost horse. Oh, it's annoying when the game does this. Okay. It's a cult. Let's go care for foal. Let's confirm. I don't know what he looks like yet. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to reboot the game. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. At the moment we have ghost horses. So guys, we'll be back. And then hopefully we can see what the horse actually looks like. I knew it was being weird. Look, they've all gone. Okay, guys, I'm going to reboot. Okay, guys, we've rebooted the game. And the horses are back. Uh, should we go check out what this new horse looks like? This new foal? Because that was really annoying. Oh, I've got a good feeling. I've got a very good feeling. Now we know it's a boy. So, we know it's a cult, but there's a big but, guys. What happens if it's really nice looking and then I need to sell one? Or even worse. Actually, some of you suggested something really cool. This is my favourite one now. Uh, why don't you just keep them as foals? I mean, that would be an amazing idea, because I've nearly completed the stable now. <gasps> cute! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Okay, um, ooh, what do I do? What do we do? Um, if I skipped him to a stallion and sold a horse, oh no. He's pretty much like, um, that one we need a name for. This guy, Hat Alligator, is very similar to him, but I don't, I prefer the black. 
We could sell Romeo. Ooh, is that gonna is that gonna upset some people? Storm Sensation's too nice to sell. I can't sell any of them. I don't want to sell any of them. River maybe? Candy Cupid's so nice. She's like a Cremello. Aria. Sugar's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep him as a foal, because I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Let's take a little photo of him. He's just too cute. Oh, oh, he's like exactly like his dad. Oh, Romeo's his dad. Oh. Do you know what then, guys? I might sell Romeo and keep his son. Let's do that. Oh, I feel bad, but he's got a nicer face than Romeo. Oh, okay. Skip to selling instead of horse. I'm doing it. I'm sorry, guys. I know some of you are going to be savage about that with me, but that's, do you know what? He's exactly the same as Romeo, but he's got a nicer face. Uh, but he does now need, need a name. This is going to be painful. He's got better stats than Romeo, I think. I didn't really look. We're just going to pretend he does. Oh, Romeo's gone. Sorry. <gasps> but we've got his son. So we've got more of a family tree. We've got more of, you know, possibilities. Skip the son. He didn't have as good stats. <laughs> but we'll ignore that. Oh, he's lovely. He's lovely. He's kind of like a bay, actually, isn't he? I don't know whether I do want to keep him now. Uh oh, I know, I know guys, I'm so sorry. We are going to breed. I know I said I was going to breed 10 new horses, but that was before I had this girly. I mean, look how stunning she is. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to breed, for, you guys know that my main like focus in life with the game was I wanted loads of Appaloosas because I'm obsessed. So I've always wanted an Appaloosa in my lab. Let's use, oh, who do we need as a start? We need a new star. Should we use Hat Alligator? I don't, I don't know. I kind of feel like we need like somebody who's got more of a family tree, but who isn't too interesting. I need like a better stallion. Oh, well, we could use the new guy. Why don't we use the new guy? Yeah, we're gonna use uh, just in case I need to sell him. Actually, we're gonna let's use Hat Alligator as a stallion. What's your family tree like, buddy? He's got, see, he's got Romeo in his family tree too. See, it's fine. Uh, let's go false stools then. We're going to breed some more. So, guys, Romeo was amazing, all right? And we've got so many of his foals that he'll live on in the foals and the family tree. He'll have grandchildren. He'll have, he'll have the lot. So don't worry. Who are we going to breed, guys? Let's have a look. Fussy Foghorn. Let's go Fussy. Fussy. Fussy, Fussy Foghorn. Um, we're gonna do a whole video on naming. Ah, uh, you, you guys. How do, how do I even like sentence that? Subscribers name all of my rival stars horses that need names. <laughs> I mean, how, what would you even call that? So you guys are right. If you had a good day and things, who are we gonna breed him with now? Cupid is a pretty quick buy. Ouch. That's a lot of money. So, um, guys, thank you so much for the support of the channel so far. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And comment below some name ideas, some game ideas, some just general ideas. We're hopefully going to have a vlogging channel as well with with um, me and my horses in real life. We have four wonderful horses. If you haven't seen the face reveal and introduction to those four wonderful horses, then go and check it out. It's going to be super exciting. Honestly, it's going to be super exciting. I hope you guys love it. I really do. So, guys, we're going to wait for Trapeze Thunder, who is a beautiful Appaloosa. We need to... We If we get something even prettier than her, then maybe we'll do a bit of swapsies. Cupid, I just absolutely love. I love that Cremello colour. I haven't actually had this kind of, like, pasty, pasty cream colour, you know? And then we've got Fussy Foghorn as well. So we've got three very good-looking girls in the stable block there. Let's just go check out our other horses a second. So guys, who should we keep? Who should we sell? I'm a bit worried. Specs and Candy and Golden Princess can't go anywhere, I'm afraid, because they're three very special ladies. Neither can Silver Fox Dakota. Black Rose is the first horse I bred that was pure black. And I absolutely love her. We haven't bred her in ages, actually. River's the first horse I ever bred that had dapples, which is kind of cool. Aria's not going anywhere. You guys should definitely know that. 
Spirit and Rain, you're definitely not going anywhere. If you haven't seen the video of us breeding Spirit and Rain, we have some interesting foals, so go and find that. Captain Jack, he's very cool, isn't he? I love him. We might do a whole video just on Captain Jack. Storm Sensation needs a name. Sugar's great as well. I love this, like, Tobiana colour. Hat Alligator needs a name. Trapeze Thunder needs a name. And I'm not sure about Outlaw's Paradise. I might keep him. I might not yet. I'm not sure. Uh, because I thought he was going to be a dun, to be honest. Like, Romeo was, but he's come out more chestnut. And I'm sorry to sell Romeo, guys, but... His lineage will live on. Okay, guys, do you know what? That's the end of breeding 10 new foals, part two. And you see these foals here? They're going to be in the next video. So make sure you subscribe so we don't miss out. And that's going to be hunting rare foals, I think. Okay, guys, have a awesome day. I'll see you all very soon. Bye!